Indy race driver Alex Lloyd recently quipped, Driving fast requires extreme skill and technique, but no matter how talented you are, if you can't overcome the fear, then you can never take a car to its absolute limit. Fear. The simple definition can be found on any pop psych purveyor's site. The acronym FALSE, or in my words, FILTERED, Evidence Appearing Real, F-E-A-R. But that's actually a very accurate statement. Why do we fear what we fear? Because we project an unfortunate outcome from our perception of the scenario before us. Our knower-judger rules of life tell us that when we see or smell or hear or feel something, our prescribed reaction is to be scared. We learn early in life to fear the dark, fear loud noises, fear strangers, fear high speed in cars. What? As a co-driver, I am frequently asked, don't you have any fear flying down a one-lane gravel road at 100 plus miles per hour with trees on your right and drop-offs on your left? Well, to be accurate, I don't see any of that. In thousands of miles of racing under these conditions, dozens of high-speed wrecks, I've never been hurt. The evidence is that zero out of 100 trials have I ever been injured. Of course, I need to discount the data that occasionally one of my rally friends does get injured or even killed doing this. The statistical probability, though, is minuscule. Walking across a St. Louis City street is statistically more dangerous, and to worry about it would just compromise my ability to do my job. My office in a rally car is in the right seat with notes in my lap, communicating effectively with my driver. Years of doing this from both the left seat and the right have given me a perspective of the physics involved in a car drifting at high speeds around gravel road corners. In my more recent roles of mentoring newer drivers, most don't go fast enough to give me any concern. However, their skill level, or lack thereof, does sometimes leave me with a heightened awareness. Most of us don't routinely experience a fear of high-speed driving. We fear stuff like picking up the telephone or approaching a potential new client. Maybe we can't bring ourselves to ha address a problem with a, a direct report or approach the boss for a raise. Why is that? Alex Lloyd in his article maintains that taking a car to its absolute limit requires you to become what regular people describe as idiotic. Switch off that part of the brain that dictates fear. In HD clarity terms, he's suggesting that we turn off our knower-judger filters, sidestep our knowledge, if you will, and proceed. In essence, I guess that's what I do when I jump in a rally car. The next time you find yourself fearing something, listen to your self-talk, that ongoing conversation we have with ourselves, and you'll recognize your knower-judger talking you out of trying. Sometimes it only takes one positive outcome to get you to realize that your fear was actually based on false or filtered evidence, and that success is just on the other side of that attempt. I'm Kim DeMott, corporate co-driver, and this is another moment of clarity. Mm.